learn to crochet with Potter and Blue. So the Victorian shell stitch is worked in multiples of two. I have done a foundation chain of 12 and then we're going to add four. I'm going to move that out of the way because that's going to get on my nerves. Okay, so I've added four. Now, what we're going to do is insert our hook into the third stitch. Okay, and we're going to pull up a loop. And then we're going to do that into the fourth, pull up a loop, the fifth, pull up a loop, and the sixth, pull up a loop. Sounds like something from... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And we're going to put our yarn around our hook and through four of those stitches. Okay, and then yarn around hook and through the remaining two. Okay, chain one, that's our first dinky little shell. She is so cute. Now, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to start our first pulley up loopy business in the top and I'll show you on here if you can see into the top of the four loops that you pulled so you'll be able to see it it just sits on the top here so you put your yarn into that and you pull up your first loop okay and then the second loop that you pull up is this this loop here this stitch has already been looped it was the last loop from the previous round so that's number two, and then number three, and number four are just normal stitches from your foundation chain, okay? And then yarn round hook and through four, yarn round hook and through two, and chain one, okay? So again, we're drawing up four loops. The first one up on that sh top of that shell the second one in the last stitch from the previous shell and the third and the fourth just along the foundation chain okay yarn round hook and through all four yarn round hook and through two chain one okay same thing again oh my ball of yarn's just fallen on the floor so into the top pull up a loop into the end pull up a loop and two, three, four, sorry. And then through all four, through two, chain one. They're looking quite dinky, aren't they? Okay, so pull up that loop, and again, and again, and again. Yarn round hook, through four, yarn round hook, through two, chain one. In the first one, three and four is your last one. Yarn round hook through four, yarn round hook and through two. Okay, so you've got a little row of shells. Okay, chain two and turn. Now for this row, so this is one of those patterns that has a definite front and a back. So for this row, we are just going to work two double crochets into each chain one gap. So one, two, three, a bit loose, a bit loose and bobbly. Okay, 
So now we're going to do the same thing again. But what we're going to do is we've chained three here. So the first pull up a loop takes place in the third third chain from the hook. So not this one, not this one, and not the one on your actual work. But pull up the loop. Okay. And then number two is the first actual stitch. Three four. Okay, it's a bit weird there. Two or four through two chain one. Okay? Bit tricky. And then we do the same thing. So the first loop, second, third, and fourth. Four, two, chain one. Okay? One, two, three, four, yarn round hook and three, four, yarn round hook and three, two, chain one. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. One, two, three, four, yarn round hook and three, four. And I took them through two. Chain one. Okay. One, two, three, four. And I took them through four. And I took them through two. Chain one. And then the last one. One, two, three. And then the four is um, the fourth pull up is through the turning chain from the previous round which is only a two chain turning chain so it's a little bit fiddly so just get it in however best you can pull up your loop four and two chain two again and then turn and two double crochets into every chain one space on the way back one, two, and that is it. So you have a definite front and a back. It's lovely and easy. Bit weird and tricky, bit weird working into that um, third chain of the three chain turning chain, isn't it? Never done that before. But you know, I kind of like doing things I've never done before and seeing how they work out. You know, sometimes it's a uh, a disaster but other times like this Victorian shells they're nice aren't they really pretty would work really well as edging wouldn't it really like that that's Victorian shells hope that was useful Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please click on the like button and um, subscribe. Please do subscribe. Um, that would be fabulous. And I uh, yeah, hope that was useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Can't leave that at a funny angle. Bye.